Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the second part of my Bundesliga jersey review. Uh, in this video the city team is Dortmund, so that's the jersey that you've already seen on the thumbnail. As I said in the first video, I'm splitting last year's table into groups of four by standing. So the first four the Champions League teams up. If you want pot one, the next four pot two and so on. And then I pick a team out of each pot. Uh, kind of keep it a little bit even, then order them alphabetically, which means since we have 18 teams only in Bundesliga, this is the last five team video, the next past three and four will be only four teams. So it should go a little bit faster than the Premier League video or some of the La Liga videos. Also, if I don't talk as much, maybe we get done quicker, but it's fun to talk about jerseys. I can talk for them about them forever. So um, in this video, the first team that we'll talk about um, to the alphabet is Augsburg and Augsburg is very much to me a team that's on the verge of you know staying in staying out a little bit um, solid management overall but at the moment they have some trouble um, with the squad I, I have the feeling that it's it's borderline anyway they get quite interesting home jerseys. In a way, this would be a pretty good Werder Bremen away jersey. White with the green sleeves, but you also get the red swoosh because, yes, you see Augsburg, there's also some red in the city colors. I think the um, club crest is uh, very, very much inspired by the cold coat of Augsburg, uh, for Augsburg. And I really love that the sponsor fits nicely in it too. So overall, I think it's a really nice looking jersey. Um, I'm going to give this a straight out 8 stars. Again, nothing super special, but also not messing up, keeping a good look. Um, the away jersey, similarly, I mean, uh, it all makes sense. What I'm missing is maybe a tad bit more of green. I mean, if the color, just the color, just, it doesn't need much, just a tad bit of green in, in, in there. We'll probably have made this a better, better jersey. So it's just a red jersey with a sponsor and crest slapped on. Is it horrible? No, because the sponsor decided to be only one color. So um, that actually looks quite good. And for that reason, I think I can give this safely uh, six stars. A little bit adventurous, but still sort of staying with the th overall theme of the club is the third jersey. Black. Yes, we have a black jersey with some red. So there's at least one color used. The one that's actually more, more prominent on the um, home jersey. I do not necessarily like the... Uh, monochromatic crest. Uh, that one looks downright odd, uh, especially since you know the red went on the other side and is replaced by black, the white is replaced by red. <clears throat> I do like the sleeves, it reminds me a little bit of the um, uh, Milan away jersey last season, the black with the red sleeves, so I do like that. Um, but all this monochromatic stuff kind of drop it down the list for me, but I, I really like the sleeve, this headed pattern. Um, yeah, but that doesn't save it. It's just a five-star jersey to me. Let's go to the big boy, uh, Dortmund, which get their classic yellow home jersey with some black uh, accents. Off the bat, the first thing that I really do not like is that the collar again stops right here. Go all around look, and it looks awesome. Uh, I like the sleeve cuffs. I like even that the uh, sleeve sponsor is in black and white. That's really nice. I like the pattern on the form strap that gives it a little bit more visual interest. And again, even it needs to have it in pink. I should make a video I saw on footy headlines where I get most of these uh, pictures from uh, an art article of how certain teams would look better if the sponsor would actually comply to club's colors. And even it was one of those. It's a decent Dortmund shirt. It's not a great Dortmund shirt. For that reason, I give it only seven stars. The away jersey in black is interesting as it doesn't feature yellow as an accent color, but rather silver. It's kind of a nod to the steel industry in the Ruhr area. For a change, it is nice, but I have to say, when I was watching this kit in action, it looks odd. It looks a little bit off because you have the yellow crest. So the, what's silver here looks actually a little bit more goldenish, but kind of a flat gold color, and then doesn't look all that great. 
I know black makes a whole lot of sense, but I'm not so sure about this one. There's also a huge pattern on there, probably should be some rock samples or whatever. It's not a bad kit or it's just not a good Dortmund kit. And for that reason, yeah, since there's, a, there's some appeal to it, I give it six uh, stars. And then Dortmund also issues a cup jersey, which we actually should probably cover in uh, European Cup competitions, uh, Champions League namely, also for the DFB uh, Pokal, so the cup uh, competition, which is interesting, but I honestly don't like it. The whole top in black, again with a weird pattern in there, and the bottom yellow and the pink sponsor. It's... Uh, it's a whole lot to take in and it doesn't look very much Dortmund so for that reason only four stars for that jersey uh, we might see a lot because I think Dortmund is actually really uh, will be really good this season so we might see these jerseys a lot but hey it's not always the best looks not also since Puma took over Dortmund has not won a trophy or oh, did they win a cup over, over there but you know the last time they were champ champions was still in Kappa and then the next season the switched to Puma and since then Dortmund did not win the league anymore. Uh, the next team is Fortuna Düsseldorf um, and the nice thing about Düsseldorf is that they try with the home and the away kits to kind of appeal to tradition and then with the away kit they do something fan inspired and this home kit is a very interesting uh, one with the typically white color but then you have this red shoulder top of the shoulder with a really nice collar and what I like the best is that the um, shoulder stops exactly where the crest is halved so that looks actually pretty nice uh, also the sponsor not very intrusive I wonder if we could have done something about the sleeves I mean there's just the white sleeves it doesn't look bad but it looks a tad odd uh, but there's a lot to like about this jersey not uh, Ulfsport also equipped cologne and that I did not like that much if this would have the, this would be Köln I would like this a whole lot, lot, lot better I give this straight off the bat eight stars the away jersey is interesting in a sense that it's all red but it kind of has this fade towards the bottom uh, which makes it interesting to look at. It's maybe not the greatest shirt because it may be too much uni unicolored, but I still like it. I still feel very comfortable giving the six stars. And I like the third jersey even better. Black makes a whole lot of sense as a third color. And then look at this striping pattern, which is kind of, you know, you get the club colors in there in a very interesting non-standard way. And this is what you should do with third jerseys. Could the crest have been also in red? Probably, and that, that yeah, I think in red it would have been better. I think the red crest um, would have made more sense on the, a black crest would have made more sense on the away jersey or an inverted one. And for that reason, only seven stars, but it's a really nice kit overall. I really like this design. Red, white, and black are my favorite colors. That's why I probably like this jersey also, even it be, despite it being a Germany jersey. Uh, yeah, <laughs> red, white and black we also have for Frankfurt. And I really should like this jersey because, first of all, when the last fans display the flag, um, it's usually from top to bottom, black, white, black, red, black, white, black. And that's exactly what we have between swoosh and crest. For that reason, this is awesome. I'm also so happy to finally see the Frankfurt going back to a little bit of red. I mean, uh, they're always caught between black and white, black, red and black and so on. So they just take everything in there. However, as much as I really want to like this jersey, it's also a little bit of a big mess. Uh, because you cannot decide, is it not red or black or is it black and white? And you have it all in there and then you have stripes of different widths. And I actually count there the red stripe and in the center and I think the black stripe uh, through the swoosh and the crest are about the same width. The white stripes are then a little bit wider than the black stripes around the red. And that's already where it gets a little bit odd. It's just 
if you have this pattern, keep the stripes the same width to make it a little bit more bearable. So this way this jersey becomes just a little bit of a hot mess. As much as I want to like it, it's a little bit too much. I like the red collar, it's your typically Nike collar, the black sleeves. Uh, that all makes sense. It's just a tad too much. Uh, it's, it's confusing to the eye, I have to say. And when I saw it the first time, I thought, oh, this is great. But the more I see it, the more I find it confusing. Um, and so this will not be one of my first Bundesliga shirts. Although uh, it's, it is definitely better than last year's. But it's a little bit of a hot mess. And for that, only five stars. Also, I don't like how the sponsor is breaking up this uh, intricate pattern. Find a better solution. Put it on an oval and let the straps run through. I think this would look much, much better. Nothing I can complain about the away jersey, though it reminds me of some Milan away jerseys. Uh, you have white, you have black on one side and red on the other. And what I like is that it's not all one side is red, the other one is black. It is that the color splits in black and red and then the sleeves do the opposite. The only thing is that the sleeves uh, match up with the color of the crest and the swoosh. So uh, the proper left, we have the black crest and the black sleeve cuff and the swoosh is red and we have a red sleeve cuff and then we have a black um, sponsor where I wonder if, you know, indeed could be black and the rest could be red or the other, ah, the way around, you know, to maintain a little bit of balance. But overall, this is a really fine away jersey that I can get behind. Um, gonna give this um, eight stars and then the third jersey they had the fans choose between two alternates all, uh, and they chose the gold one am i crazy about the gold no uh but i can actually defend the gold because you know frankfurt is a cider region and uh given the pattern on the bottom is kind of this typically cider glass style so this kind of a cider jersey is it great no it's a little bit bland to be honest um i also like you know the crest has a golden backing and maybe a little bit of stronger gold tone than it should have. Uh, but it's not offensive either. It's just your typical run of the mill five to six star jersey. I actually want to give five because it's not as... I think for six there needs to be a little bit more. I like the touch on the bottom, but if this was visible all over, I actually think I would like this a little bit better. And then the last team is probably the team that everyone is picking to be relegated, but it's also one of the true cult teams in Germany. There's St. Pauli, there's Union Berlin. Uh, Union Berlin is a team that's more or less run by the fans for the fans, something like that. Really a great story, On honestly. The fans saved the team multiple times. And yeah, it's an Eastern Berlin team, which makes it also more interesting. Hertha West Union is East Berlin. So, you know, uh, it's I think the first time that an Eastern Berlin team is playing in the Bundesliga. Macron took over, I think, for the Adidas shirts, if I'm not mistaken. Macron took over and gave them average kit with Korean color. Red, you have the logo on there, which I wonder... Because, you know, the, it doesn't have the backing. It's not this uh, trapezoid uh, crest. It's usually just the writing. So I wonder, shouldn't you have switched the colors around? But, you know, it looks fine overall. Uh, it's not your super jersey, but I think it's not offensive either. So I give this six stars. The away jersey is a little bit more interesting with the gray specks around. I actually like the color. Uh, white with a little bit red inset. Um... And then the red around the sleeve cuffs is also interesting. Um, I wish that the sponsor was just red or black, but it's still nice. I think this is your... I still want to give it only six stars. Um, for seven, it's just a little bit missing. If the pattern did something more Berlin-like and not just this dot pattern, I think I would like it more. Uh, the third jersey though is a hot mess. Um, navy with light green and then uh, what is this? Probably snowflake pattern or something like that. Ugh, don't like that one. That's only two stars. Well, that ends part two of my Bundesliga jersey review. 
please let me know in the comments below which jerseys you liked, which ones you disliked, whether you agree or disagree with my assessment. Uh, also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and subscribe to my channel if you wanna uh, get part three and other videos that I'm doing. I've already done a full La Liga and Premier League jersey review. There's also part one and you know, I'm looking at every week's results Telling where we're standing, give you my personal opinion, and uh, we are looking, of course, also at some of these jerseys. Unfortunately, nothing from the Bundesliga yet. For next season, I think I want to have a few more Bundesliga. I want to have a few Bundesliga jerseys, but let's see how it, uh, how it will go. Anyway, I'll see you in part three. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.